All right, in this video, we're going to do a trigonometric substitution uh, where we have a definite integral. So the first thing uh, we've got, so 0 to 2 dx over the square root of x squared plus 4. Here we'll use the substitution x equals 2 tangent of theta. So our dx will just be 2 times, so the derivative of tangent theta is just secant squared theta d theta. So in the numerator, we'll have our 2 secant squared theta. I'm going to pull the d theta off to the side. Um, underneath the radical, we would have 2 tangent theta squared, or 4 tangent squared theta plus 4. But our limits of integration here change. So to get our new limits of integration, the upper limit was when x equaled 2. So if we plug in x equals 2 into our substitution, well, we'll have 2 equals 2 tangent theta. If we divide both sides by 2, we'll get tangent theta equals 1, and tangent of pi over 4 is what equals 1. So our upper limit of integration will turn into pi over 4. Our lower limit of integration was when x equals 0. So there we'll have 0 equals 2 tangent theta. We can divide by 2, so we'll have, well, 0 equals tangent theta and tangent of 0 is 0. So now we have our new uh, integral with the correct limits of integration. So let's see here, we would have 0 to pi over 4, 2 secant squared theta. Uh, underneath the radical we would have the square root of 4 times tangent squared theta plus 1. But again, tangent squared theta, uh, that's just going to be our secant squared theta. So really, we've got the square root of 4 times secant squared theta, d theta. Well, the square root of 4 is just a 2, so the 2 and the square root of 4 would cancel out. Uh, the denominator would just turn into a secant theta. So secant squared over secant will just leave us with secant of theta. And now uh, we've turned all of that original problem and just the into the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of secant theta. The antiderivative of secant is the natural logarithm of secant theta plus tangent theta. Whoops, uh, I almost wrote a plus c because we've been doing so many definite integrals. Um, so this one will be from 0 to pi over 4. So now it's just a matter of uh, evaluating it. So we'll have the natural logarithm of secant of pi over 4 plus tangent of pi over 4 minus the natural logarithm of secant of 0 plus tangent of 0. Well, let's see. Secant of pi over 4, that's 1 over cosine of pi over 4. Cosine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. So 1 over that will give us, well, 2 over root 2. Tangent of pi over 4 is just positive 1. Uh, secant of 0, that's 1 over cosine of 0, which is 1 over 1. So we'll get the natural logarithm of 1. Uh, tangent of 0, again, is just 0. So here we have the natural logarithm of 1. And recall that ln of 1 does equal 0. So we can basically just forget about this whole last term. That's all 0. So to me, uh, our solution to this definite integral would be the natural logarithm of 2 over root 2 plus 1.